and a bill to make it a national holiday got Senate approval today to remember the day enslaved Texans learned that they were free two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. It's a day to mark our progress as a nation when that news made it to Galveston and for one family in Fort Bend, the importance of that moment is felt every day. Our Domily Keith explains. My family story is Juneteenth. To understand what Eugene Howard means, look no further than Thompson Chapel here in Fort Bend County. Well, Thompson Chapel uh, was a community founded by the first freed black family uh, in 1877. It was Howard's great grandfather, Paul Thompson, and his father, Premise Thompson, both Civil War veterans who bought 100 acres of land 12 years after Union soldiers came to Texas, forcing slave owners to abide by the Emancipation Proclamation, which set slaves free more than two years earlier, now called Juneteenth. Uh, he was able to purchase the land uh, the last year of Reconstruction uh, before the Union left the South and uh, we've had to deal with the uh, Jim Crow South ever since. So. How? Well, while you may not have heard of Thompson Chapel, you likely certainly know the 99 Grand Parkway, which runs right through what was once the 100 acre community and the new territory subdivision sitting on the land that belonged to the family. Thompson Chapel was this great community and it's just been closed in and it eventually erased. Uh, it's very disheartening. It's, 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 it gets emotionally saddening uh, to see uh, what developers and what could be allowed to happen if, if people uh, are marginalized and, and, and disenfranchised. The family is now trying to track down deeds and titles to understand how they now only own a sliver of the 100 acres where Thompson Chapel Church, built in 1880, still stands. And they're asking Fort Bend County commissioners to pay for maintenance of the two cemeteries where dozens of their relatives are buried. My family has fought in every war since the Civil War. We have veterans from every war in those cemeteries. Uh, if these uh, individuals were founding uh, fathers of Fort Bend County in terms of not establishing the county, but just early residents, uh, we should give them some honor and respect. This is a community that is older, almost older than the state of the, than the city of Houston. Howard says he knows just like so many other black families, life and the wealth gap would be very different for his, if only. I could just imagine if my family would have been able to maintain those 100 acres where you have million dollar homes, the, the financial legacy that we would have. We could be the highest, the Hiltons. Meanwhile, the legacy of the land and its early owners lives on. It's, it's part of all of our history, not just black history, it's Texas history. In Thompson Chapel, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.